I think everybody watching this video understands how good of a game God of War Ragnarok really is. It came in second place for Game of the Year. Unfortunately, it lost to Elden Ring, but obviously you guys don't care about that. That's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is how broken this fucking armor set is. This is the poison build. I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys step by step. How to unlock it, how to upgrade it, when is it best used. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. The most important part of this build is to have the chest piece. You can get the chest piece at this location, along with the other two pieces, to fully have a matching set if you're into that. But you don't actually need the wrist piece or the belt. What you actually need is just the chest piece because this will allow you to inflict poison damage whenever you strike. Now this set piece is kind of interesting because what it does is it doesn't actually give you a superb amount of damage over any of the other builds that I've shown on my channel, which you can probably find down in the link in the description, but it's actually quite fascinating. What it does is it lowers everybody else's levels and therefore it makes your attacks much stronger. So if you have a level 7 enemy, you hit them, that's level 6. Hit them again, they're level 5. Now you might still just be a level 6. But remember, they were 7, and now they're way beneath you, and now your strikes are going to do a lot more. Whenever somebody hits you, and by hits you, I mean hits your shield, they'll also inflict a little bit of poison damage. Poison damage is really good because it actually allows you to be passive and still be doing damage to them at all times. Without the use of arrows, without the use of the axe, the blades the spear you name it anything you don't need it all you got to do is hit them a few times and whenever you get that poison status effect you're going to be consistently doing damage aggressive or not you use these sets of amulets because this will allow you to increase your damage to its maximum potential or its maximum amount of damage that you can hit a person with for a bit simpler of an explanation this build really strides is on single target damage so whether you're fighting the valkyrie queen or the berserker king or anything along those lines you're going to be doing some of the highest possible damage that you could hope to get obviously pretty self-explanatory that the higher level that you level up your armor set to the better you're going to do the three pieces of armor that you're going to need is like the one i said before lunda's armor set the chest piece Vidar's Bracers of Might, and Vidar's Waste Piece. Once you have all three of these and you put them all together, you're going to be dealing some insane damage. My personal favorite shield for this build is the Stonewall Shield. One, you can slam it, which is going to inflict poison damage to all surrounding enemies. If they hit you, it's also going to inflict poison damage. And it's going to allow you to sit there, hold it in your hand, and be completely safe from all incoming strikes. Once you have all of these pieces and armor sets and amulets and so on and so forth, etc, etc, you're going to be on a pretty fast track to fucking up every single enemy that you could hope to mess up. Any of them. Okay, it really doesn't matter. Nothing here is safe. But, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to like or subscribe, then I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out so much, and it just takes one second out of your day to click it. Obviously, you guys hear this all the time, but I just really appreciate it, guys. And thank you for watching. Don't be stingy. Seriously, though. Like, like the video. Like, seriously, like right now. Go do it.